The number π is a mathematical constant. Originally defined as the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, it now has various equivalent definitions and appears in many formulas in all areas of mathematics and physics. It is approximately equal to 3.14159. It has been represented by the Greek letter π since the mid 18th century, though it is also sometimes spelled out as π. It is also called Archimedes' constant. Being an irrational number, π cannot be expressed as a common fraction equivalently, its decimal representation never ends and never settles into a permanently repeating pattern. Still, fractions such as 22 sevenths and other rational numbers are commonly used to approximate π. The digits appear to be randomly distributed. In particular, the digit sequence of π is conjectured to satisfy a specific kind of statistical randomness, but to date, no proof of this has been discovered. Also, π is a transcendental number, that is, it is not the root of any polynomial having rational coefficients. This transcendence of π implies that it is impossible to solve the ancient challenge of squaring the circle with a compass and straightedge. Ancient civilizations required fairly accurate computed values to approximate π for practical reasons, including the Egyptians and Babylonians. Around 250 BC the Greek mathematician Archimedes created an algorithm for calculating it. In the 5th century AD Chinese mathematics approximated pi to seven digits, while Indian mathematics made a five-digit approximation, both using geometrical techniques. The historically first exact formula for pi, based on infinite series, was not available until a millennium later, when in the 14th century the Madhava Leibniz series was discovered in Indian mathematics. In the 20th and 21st centuries, mathematicians and computer scientists discovered new approaches that, when combined with increasing computational power, extended the decimal representation of pi to many trillions of digits after the decimal point. Practically all scientific applications require no more than a few hundred digits of pi, and many substantially fewer, so the primary motivation for these computations is the quest to find more efficient algorithms for calculating lengthy numeric series, as well as the desire to break records. The extensive calculations involved have also been used to test supercomputers and high-precision multiplication algorithms. Because its most elementary definition relates to the circle, π is found in many formulae in trigonometry and geometry, especially those concerning circles, ellipses, and spheres. In more modern mathematical analysis, the number is instead defined using the spectral properties of the real number system, as an eigenvalue or a period, without any reference to geometry. It appears therefore in areas of mathematics and the sciences having little to do with the geometry of circles, such as number theory and statistics, as well as in almost all areas of physics. The ubiquity of π makes it one of the most widely known mathematical constants both inside and outside the scientific community. Several books devoted to π have been published, and record-setting calculations of the digits of π often result in news headlines. Attempts to memorize the value of π with increasing precision have led to records of over 70,000 digits. Topic. Fundamentals Topic. Name The symbol used by mathematicians to represent the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter is the lowercase Greek letter pi, sometimes spelled out as pi, and derived from the first letter of the Greek word perimetros, meaning circumference. In English, pi is pronounced as pi. Py. In mathematical use, the lowercase letter pi or pi in sans serif font is distinguished from its capitalized and enlarged counterpart, which denotes a product of a sequence, analogous to how denotes summation. The choice of the symbol pi is discussed in the section adoption of the symbol pi. Topic. Definition Pi is commonly defined as the ratio of a circle's circumference c to its diameter d. Pi equals c d. Display style pi equals frac c d. The ratio c d is constant regardless of the circle's size. For example, if a circle has twice the diameter of another circle, it will also have twice the circumference, preserving the ratio c d. This definition of pi implicitly makes use of flat Euclidean geometry, although the notion of a circle can be extended to any curved non-Euclidean geometry. These new circles will no longer satisfy the formula pi. Topic C D. Here, the circumference of a circle is the arc length around the perimeter of the circle, a quantity which can be formally defined independently of geometry using limits, a concept in calculus. 
For example, one may directly compute the arc length of the top half of the unit circle, given in Cartesian coordinates by the equation x2 plus y2. 1, as the integral pi equals minus 1 1 d x 1 minus x 2 Display style pi equals in underscore minus one carrot one frac dx sqrt one x carrot two. An integral such as this was adopted as the definition of pi by Karl Weierstrass, who defined it directly as an integral in 1841. Definitions of pi such as these that rely on a notion of circumference and hence implicitly on concepts of the integral calculus are no longer common in the literature. Remet explains that this is because in many modern treatments of calculus, differential calculus typically precedes integral calculus in the university curriculum, so it is desirable to have a definition of pi that does not rely on the latter. One such definition, due to Richard Baltzer, and popularized by Edmund Landau, is the following, π is twice the smallest positive number at which the cosine function equals zero. The cosine can be defined independently of geometry as a power series, or as the solution of a differential equation. In a similar spirit, pi can be defined instead using properties of the complex exponential, expz, of a complex variable z. Like the cosine, the complex exponential can be defined in one of several ways. The set of complex numbers at which expz is equal to 1 is then an imaginary arithmetic progression of the form minus 2 pi i. 0 2 pi i 4 pi i equals 2 pi k i k element of z Display style dots minus two pi i zero two pi i four pi i dots equals two pi key mid k in math b b z and there is a unique positive real number pi with this property. A more abstract variation on the same idea, making use of sophisticated mathematical concepts of topology and algebra, is the following theorem. There is a unique, up to automorphism, continuous isomorphism from the group R, Z of real numbers under addition modulo integers, the circle group, onto the multiplicative group of complex numbers of absolute value 1. The number π is then defined as half the magnitude of the derivative of this homomorphism, a circle encloses the largest area that can be attained within a given perimeter. Thus the number π is also characterized as the best constant in the isoparametric inequality, times one-fourth. There are many other, closely related, ways in which π appears as an eigenvalue of some geometrical or physical process, see below. Topic. Irrationality and normality. π is an irrational number, meaning that it cannot be written as the ratio of two integers fractions such as 22 sevenths and 355 113 are commonly used to approximate π, but no common fraction ratio of whole numbers can be its exact value. Because π is irrational, it has an infinite number of digits in its decimal representation, and it does not settle into an infinitely repeating pattern of digits. There are several proofs that π is irrational, they generally require calculus and rely on the reductio ad absurdum technique. The degree to which pi can be approximated by rational numbers called the irrationality measure is not precisely known. Estimates have established that the irrationality measure is larger than the measure of East or Lane 2 but smaller than the measure of Liouville numbers. The digits of pi have no apparent pattern and have passed tests for statistical randomness, including tests for normality. A number of infinite length is called normal when all possible sequences of digits of any given length appear equally often. The conjecture that pi is normal has not been proven or disproven. Since the advent of computers, a large number of digits of pi have been available on which to perform statistical analysis. Yasumasa Kanada has performed detailed statistical analyses on the decimal digits of pi and found them consistent with normality. For example, the frequencies of the 10 digits 0 to 9 were subjected to statistical significance tests, and no evidence of a pattern was found. Any random sequence of digits contains arbitrarily long subsequences that appear non-random, by the infinite monkey theorem. Thus, because the sequence of pi s digits passes statistical tests for randomness, it contains some sequences of digits that may appear non-random, such as a sequence of six consecutive nines that begins at the 762nd decimal place of the decimal representation of pi. This is also called the Feynman point in mathematical folklore, after Richard Feynman, although no connection to Feynman is known.
Topic: Transcendence. In addition to being irrational, more strongly π is a transcendental number, which means that it is not the solution of any non-constant polynomial equation with rational coefficients, such as by 5 120ths minus by 3 6 plus x equals zero. The transcendence of π has two important consequences. First, π cannot be expressed using any finite combination of rational numbers and square roots or nth roots, such as 3 square root 31 or square root 10. Second, since no transcendental number can be constructed with compass and straightedge, it is not possible to «square the circle». In other words, it is impossible to construct, using compass and straightedge alone, a square whose area is exactly equal to the area of a given circle. Squaring a circle was one of the important geometry problems of the classical antiquity. Amateur mathematicians in modern times have sometimes attempted to square the circle and sometimes claim success despite the fact that it is mathematically impossible. Equals. Topic: Continued fractions. Equals. Like all irrational numbers, pi cannot be represented as a common fraction, also known as a simple or vulgar fraction, by the very definition of irrational number. That is not a rational number. But every irrational number, including pi, can be represented by an infinite series of nested fractions, called a continued fraction. Pi equals three plus one seven plus one fifteen plus one one plus one two hundred and ninety two plus one one plus one one plus one one plus Display style pi equals three plus text style CFRAC one seven plus text style CFRAC one fifteen plus text style CFRAC one one plus text style CFRAC one two hundred and ninety two plus text style CFRAC one one plus text style CFRAC one one plus text style CFRAC one one plus D dot Truncating the continued fraction at any point yields a rational approximation for pi. The first four of these are 3, 22 sevenths, 333 one hundred sixths, and 355 one hundred thirteenths. These numbers are among the most well-known and widely used historical approximations of the constant. Each approximation generated in this way is a best rational approximation, that is, each is closer to pi than any other fraction with the same or a smaller denominator. Because π is known to be transcendental, it is by definition not algebraic and so cannot be a quadratic irrational. Therefore, π cannot have a periodic continued fraction. Although the simple continued fraction for π shown above also does not exhibit any other obvious pattern, mathematicians have discovered several generalized continued fractions that do, such as π equals 4 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 3 2 2 plus 5 2 2 plus 7 2 2 plus 9 2 2 plus equals 3 plus one two six plus three two six plus five two six plus seven two six plus nine two six plus equals four one plus one two three plus two two five plus three two seven plus 
four two nine plus display style begin aligned pi and equals text style CFRAC four one plus text style CFRAC one carat two two plus text style CFRAC three carat two two plus text style CFRAC five carat two two plus text style CFRAC seven carat two two plus text style CFRAC nine carat two two plus D dots equals three plus text style CFRAC one carat two six plus text style CFRAC C three carat two six plus text style CFRAC five carat two six plus text style CFRAC seven carat two six plus text style CFRAC nine carat two six plus D dots eight PT and equals text style CFRAC four one plus text style CFRAC one carat two three plus text style CFRAC two carat two five plus text style CFRAC three carat two seven plus text style CFRAC four carat two 9 plus D dots end aligned. Topic: Approximate value and digits. Some approximations of pi include integers, free fractions. Approximate fractions include, in order of increasing accuracy, 22 sevenths, 333 one hundred sixths, 355 one hundred thirteenths, 52163 16604 fourths, 103993 33100 seconds, 104348 33200 fifteenths, and 245 million eight hundred and fifty thousand nine hundred and twenty two seventy eight million two hundred and fifty six thousand List is selected terms from OEIS, A063674 and OEIS, A063673. Digits, the first 50 decimal digits are 3.14159265358979323862 COEIS, A00796, digits in other number systems. The first 48 binary, base 2, digits called bits are 11.0010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010010
nth roots of unity they are given by this formula e 2 pi i k n k equals 0 1 2 n minus 1 Display style e carrot two pi n q quad k equals zero one two dots n one. Topic History. Topic Antiquity. The best known approximations to pi dating before the Common Era were accurate to two decimal places, this was improved upon in Chinese mathematics in particular by the mid-first millennium, to an accuracy of seven decimal places. After this, no further progress was made until the late medieval period. Based on the measurements of the Great Pyramid of Giza c. 2560 BC, some Egyptologists have claimed that the ancient Egyptians used an approximation of pi as 22 sevenths from as early as the Old Kingdom. This claim has met with skepticism. The earliest written approximations of pi are found in Babylon and Egypt, both within 1% of the true value. In Babylon, a clay tablet dated 1900 to 1600 BC has a geometrical statement that, by implication, treats pi as 25 eighths. Equals 3.125. In Egypt, the Rhine papyrus, dated around 1650 BC but copied from a document dated to 1850 BC, has a formula for the area of a circle that treats pi as 16 ninths to approximately equals 3.16. Astronomical calculations in the Shatapatha Brahmana ca. 4th century BC use a fractional approximation of 339 100 eighths approximately equals 3.139, an accuracy of 9 times 10 minus 4. Other Indian sources by about 150 BC treat pi as square root 10 approximately equals 3.1622. Equals. Topic Polygon approximation era equals the first recorded algorithm for rigorously calculating the value of pi was a geometrical approach using polygons, devised around 250 BC by the Greek mathematician Archimedes. This polygonal algorithm dominated for over 1,000 years, and as a result pi is sometimes referred to as Archimedes constant. Archimedes computed upper and lower bounds of pi by drawing a regular hexagon inside and outside a circle, and successively doubling the number of sides until he reached a 96-sided regular polygon. By calculating the perimeters of these polygons, he proved that 223 71 in ancient China, values for pi included 3.1547 around 1 AD, square root 10 100 AD, approximately 3.1623, and 142 45 3rd century, approximately 3.1556, around 265 AD. The Wei Kingdom mathematician Lu Hui created a polygon-based iterative algorithm and used it with a 3072-sided polygon to obtain a value of pi of 3.1417. Lu later invented a faster method of calculating pi and obtained a value of 3.14 with a 96 sided polygon. By taking advantage of the fact that the differences in area of successive polygons form a geometric series with a factor of 4. The Chinese mathematician Zhu Chongzhi, around 480 AD, calculated that 3.1415926. 1,415,927 and suggested the approximations pi approximately equals 355 113. Topic 3.1415929235. Three and pi approximately equals 22 sevenths. 3.1425 which he termed the milu close ratio and yulu approximate ratio respectively using lu hui's algorithm applied to a 12288 sided polygon with a correct value for its seven first decimal digits this value of remained the most accurate approximation of pi available for the next 800 years the indian astronomer aryabhata used a value of 3.1416 in his aryabhatiya 499 ad Fibonacci in c. 
1220 computed 3.1418 using a polygonal method, independent of Archimedes. Italian author Dante apparently employed the value 3 plus square root 2 tenths approximately equals 3.14142. The Persian astronomer Jamshid al Kashi produced nine sexagesimal digits, roughly the equivalent of 16 decimal digits, in 1424 using a polygon with 3 times 228 sides, which stood as the world record for about 180 years. French mathematician François Viette in 1579 achieved nine digits with a polygon of 3 times 217 sides. Flemish mathematician Adrian van Rumen arrived at 15 decimal places in 1593. In 1596, Dutch mathematician Ludolf van Coelen reached 20 digits, a record he later increased to 35 digits as a result, pi was called the Ludolfian number in Germany until the early 20th century. Dutch scientist Willebrand Snellius reached 34 digits in 1621, and Austrian astronomer Christoph Grienberger arrived at 38 digits in 1630 using 1040 sides, which remains the most accurate approximation manually achieved using polygonal algorithms. Topic. Infinite series The calculation of pi was revolutionized by the development of infinite series techniques in the 16th and 17th centuries. An infinite series is the sum of the terms of an infinite sequence. Infinite series allowed mathematicians to compute pi with much greater precision than Archimedes and others who used geometrical techniques. Although infinite series were exploited for pi most notably by European mathematicians such as James Gregory and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, the approach was first discovered in India sometime between 1400 and 1500 AD. The first written description of an infinite series that could be used to compute pi was laid out in Sanskrit verse by Indian astronomer Nilakantha Somayaji in his Tantrasamgraha, around 1500 AD. The series are presented without proof, but proofs are presented in a later Indian work, Yuktavasa, from around 1530 AD. Nilakantha attributes the series to an earlier Indian mathematician, Madhava of Sangamagrama, who lived c. 1350 c. 1425. Several infinite series are described, including series for sine, tangent, and cosine, which are now referred to as the Madhava series or Gregory Leibniz series. Madhava used infinite series to estimate pi to 11 digits around 1400, but that value was improved on around 1430 by the Persian mathematician Jamshid al Kashi, using a polygonal algorithm. The first infinite sequence discovered in Europe was an infinite product, rather than an infinite sum, which are more typically used in pi calculations, found by French mathematician François Viette in 1593. 2 pi equals 2 2 2 plus 2 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 2 display style frac 2 pi equals frac sqrt 2 2 c dot frac sqrt 2 plus sqrt 2 2 c dot frac sqrt 2 plus sqrt 2 plus sqrt 2 2 c dots the second infinite sequence found in europe by john wallace in 1655 was also an infinite product pi 2 equals 2 one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Display style frac pi two equals big frac two one c dot frac two three big c dot big frac four three c dot frac four five big c dot big frac six five c dot frac six seven big c dot big frac eight seven c dot frac eight nine big c dots. The discovery of calculus by English scientist Isaac Newton and German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in the 1660s led to the development of many infinite series for approximating pi. Newton himself used an arc sine series to compute a 15 digit approximation of pi in 1665 or 1666. Later writing, I am ashamed to tell you to how many figures I carried these computations, having no other business at the time. In Europe, Madhava's formula was rediscovered by Scottish mathematician James Gregory in 1671, and by Leibniz in 1674. Arctan Z equals Z minus 
Z three three plus Z five five minus Z seven seven plus Display style arc ten z equals z frac z carrot three three plus frac z carrot five five frac z carrot seven seven plus c dots. This formula, the Gregory Leibniz series, equals pi four when evaluated with z equals one. In sixteen ninety nine, English mathematician Abraham Sharp used the Gregory Leibniz series for z equals one three. Text style z equals frac 1 sqrt 3 to compute pi to 71 digits, breaking the previous record of 39 digits, which was set with a polygonal algorithm. The Gregory Leibniz for z equals 1 display style z equals 1 series is simple, but converges very slowly, that is, approaches the answer gradually, so it is not used in modern pi calculations. In 1706 John Machin used the Gregory Leibniz series to produce an algorithm that converged much faster. Pi 4 equals 4 arctan 1 5 minus arctan 1 239 Display style frac pi four equals four arctan frac one five arctan frac one two hundred and thirty nine. Machin reached one hundred digits of pi with this formula. Other mathematicians created variants, now known as Machin-like formulae, that were used to set several successive records for calculating digits of pi. Machin-like formulae remained the best-known method for calculating pi well into the age of computers, and were used to set records for 250 years, culminating in a 620-digit approximation in 1946 by Daniel Ferguson, the best approximation achieved without the aid of a calculating device. A record was set by the calculating prodigy Zacharias Days, who in 1844 employed a Machin-like formula to calculate 200 decimals of pi in his head at the behest of German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. British mathematician William Shanks famously took 15 years to calculate π to 707 digits, but made a mistake in the 528th digit, rendering all subsequent digits incorrect. Topic. Rate of convergence Some infinite series for π converge faster than others. Given the choice of two infinite series for pi, mathematicians will generally use the one that converges more rapidly because faster convergence reduces the amount of computation needed to calculate pi to any given accuracy. A simple infinite series for pi is the Gregory Leibniz series pi equals 4 1 minus 4 3 plus 4 5 minus 4 7 plus 4 9 minus 4 11 plus 4 13 minus Display style pi equals frac 4 1 frac 4 3 plus frac 4 5 frac 4 7 plus frac 4 9 frac 4 11 plus frac 4 13 C dots as individual terms of this infinite series are added to the sum, the total gradually gets closer to pi, and, with a sufficient number of terms, can get as close to pi as desired. It converges quite slowly, though, after 500,000 terms, it produces only five correct decimal digits of pi. An infinite series for pi, published by Nilikanta in the 15th century, that converges more rapidly than the Gregory Leibniz series is pi equals 3 plus 4 2 times 3 times 4 minus 4 4 times 5 times 6 plus 4 6 times 7 times 8 minus 4 8 times 9 times 10 plus 
Display style pi equals three plus frac four two times three times four frac four four times five times six plus frac four six times seven times eight frac four eight times nine times ten plus c dots. The following table compares the convergence rates of these two series. After five terms, the sum of the Gregory Leibniz series is within 0.2 of the correct value of pi, whereas the sum of Nilikanta's series is within 0.002 of the correct value of pi. Nilikanta's series converges faster and is more useful for computing digits of pi. Series that converge even faster include Machin's series and Chudnovsky's series, the latter producing 14 correct decimal digits per term. Topic. Irrationality and transcendence Not all mathematical advances relating to pi were aimed at increasing the accuracy of approximations. When Euler solved the Basel problem in 1735, finding the exact value of the sum of the reciprocal squares, he established a connection between pi and the prime numbers that later contributed to the development and study of the Riemann zeta function pi 2 6 equals 1 1 2 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 1 4 2 plus Display style frac pi carrot two six equals frac one one carrot two plus frac one two carrot two plus frac one three carrot two plus frac one four carrot two plus c dots. Swiss scientist Johann Heinrich Lambert in 1761 proved that pi is irrational, meaning it is not equal to the quotient of any two whole numbers. Lambert's proof exploited a continued fraction representation of the tangent function. French mathematician Adrien Marie Legendre proved in 1794 that pi 2 is also irrational. In 1882, German mathematician Ferdinand von Lindemann proved that pi is transcendental, confirming a conjecture made by both Legendre and Euler. Hardy and Wright states that, "...the proofs were afterwards modified and simplified by Hilbert, Hurwitz, and other writers." Adoption of the symbol pi In the earliest usages, the Greek letter pi was an abbreviation of the Greek word for periphery, peripheria, and was combined in ratios with delta for diameter or rho for radius to form circle constants. Before then, mathematicians sometimes used letters such as c or p instead. The first recorded use is Ortrid's delta pi display style delta pi to express the ratio of periphery and diameter in the 1647 and later editions of Clavis Mathematici. Barrow likewise used pi delta textile frac pi delta to represent the constant 3.14, while Gregory instead used pi rho textile frac pi rho to represent 6.28. The earliest known use of the Greek letter pi alone to represent the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter was by Welsh mathematician William Jones in his 1706 work Synopsis Palmariorum Mathesios, or, A New Introduction to the Mathematics. The Greek letter first appears there in the phrase, one half periphery pi, in the discussion of a circle with radius 1. However, he writes that his equations for pi are from the ready pen of the truly ingenious Mr. John Machin, leading to speculation that Machin may have employed the Greek letter before Jones. Jones' notation was not immediately adopted by other mathematicians, with the fraction notation still being used as late as 1767. Euler started using the single letter form beginning with his 1727 essay explaining the properties of air, though he used pi. Topic. 6.28 the ratio of radius to periphery, in this and some later writing. Euler first used pi 3.14 in his 1736 work Mechanica, and continued in his widely read 1748 work Introductio in Analyzing Infinitorum he wrote, "...for the sake of brevity we will write this number as pi, thus pi is equal to half the circumference of a circle of radius 1." 
Because Euler corresponded heavily with other mathematicians in Europe, the use of the Greek letter spread rapidly, and the practice was universally adopted thereafter in the Western world, though the definition still varied between 3.14 and 6.28 as late as 1761. Topic. Modern quest for more digits Topic. Computer era and iterative algorithms The development of computers in the mid-20th century again revolutionized the hunt for digits of pi. Mathematicians John Wrench and Levi Smith reached 1,120 digits in 1949 using a desk calculator. Using an inverse tangent arctan infinite series, a team led by George Reitwiesner and John von Neumann that same year achieved 2,037 digits with a calculation that took 70 hours of computer time on the ENIAC computer. The record, always relying on an arctan series, was broken repeatedly 7,480 digits in 1957, 10,000 digits in 1958, 100,000 digits in 1961 until 1 million digits were reached in 1973. Two additional developments around 1980 once again accelerated the ability to compute pi. First, the discovery of new iterative algorithms for computing pi, which were much faster than the infinite series, and second, the invention of fast multiplication algorithms that could multiply large numbers very rapidly. Such algorithms are particularly important in modern pi computations because most of the computer's time is devoted to multiplication. They include the Karatsuba algorithm, Tomb Cook multiplication, and Fourier transform based methods. The iterative algorithms were independently published in 1975 1976 by physicist Eugene Salomon and scientist Richard Brent. These avoid reliance on infinite series. An iterative algorithm repeats a specific calculation, each iteration using the outputs from prior steps as its inputs, and produces a result in each step that converges to the desired value. The approach was actually invented over 160 years earlier by Carl Friedrich Gauss, in what is now termed the arithmetic geometric mean method AGM method or Gauss-Legendre algorithm. As modified by Salomon and Brent, it is also referred to as the Brent-Salomon algorithm. The iterative algorithms were widely used after 1980 because they are faster than infinite series algorithms, whereas infinite series typically increase the number of correct digits additively in successive terms. Iterative algorithms generally multiply the number of correct digits at each step. For example, the brent salomon algorithm doubles the number of digits in each iteration. In 1984, brothers John and Peter Borwain produced an iterative algorithm that quadruples the number of digits in each step, and in 1987, one that increases the number of digits five times in each step. Iterative methods were used by Japanese mathematician Yasumasa Kanada to set several records for computing pi between 1995 and 2002. This rapid convergence comes at a price, the iterative algorithms require significantly more memory than infinite series. <laughs> <laughs> Motives for computing pi For most numerical calculations involving pi, a handful of digits provide sufficient precision. According to Jurgand and Christoph Heinl, 39 digits are sufficient to perform most cosmological calculations, because that is the accuracy necessary to calculate the circumference of the observable universe with a precision of one atom. Accounting for additional digits needed to compensate for computational round-off errors, Arndt concludes that a few hundred digits would suffice for any scientific application. Despite this, people have worked strenuously to compute pi to thousands and millions of digits. This effort may be partly ascribed to the human compulsion to break records, and such achievements with pi often make headlines around the world. They also have practical benefits, such as testing supercomputers, testing numerical analysis algorithms including high-precision multiplication algorithms, and within pure mathematics itself, providing data for evaluating the randomness of the digits of pi. Topic. Rapidly convergent series. Modern pi calculators do not use iterative algorithms exclusively. New infinite series were discovered in the 1980s and 1990s that are as fast as iterative algorithms, yet are simpler and less memory intensive. The fast iterative algorithms were anticipated in 1914, when the Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan published dozens of innovative new formulae for pi, remarkable for their elegance, mathematical depth, and rapid convergence. One of his formulae, based on modular equations, is 1 pi equals 2 2 9801 
K equals zero infinity four K eleven oh three plus twenty six thousand three hundred and ninety K K four three hundred and ninety six four K Display style frac one pi equals frac two SQRT two nine thousand eight hundred and one sum underscore K equals zero carrot inf T frac four K eleven oh three plus two six three nine OK K carrot four left three hundred and ninety six carrot four K right This series converges much more rapidly than most Arctan series, including Machin's formula. Bill Gosper was the first to use it for advances in the calculation of pi, setting a record of 17 million digits in 1985. Ramanujan's formulae anticipated the modern algorithms developed by the Borwain brothers and the Chudnovsky brothers. The Chudnovsky formula developed in 1987 is 1 pi 12 640320 3 2 k equals zero infinity six K thirteen million five hundred and ninety one thousand four hundred and nine plus five hundred and forty five million one hundred and forty thousand one hundred and thirty four K three K K three minus six hundred and forty thousand three hundred and twenty Three K Display style frac one pi equals frac twelve six hundred and forty thousand three hundred and twenty carat three halves sum underscore K equals zero carat inf T frac six K thirteen million five hundred and ninety one thousand four hundred and nine plus five four five one four oh one three four K three K K carat three minus six hundred and forty thousand three hundred and twenty carat three K it produces about 14 digits of pi per term, and has been used for several record-setting pi calculations, including the first to surpass 1 billion digits in 1989 by the Chudnovsky brothers, 2.7 trillion 2 digits by Fabrice Bellard in 2009, 10 trillion 1013 digits in 2011 by Alexander Yi and Shigeru Kondo, and over 22 trillion digits in 2016 by Peter Trube. For similar formulas, see also the Ramanujan Sato series. In 2006, mathematician Simon Pluff used the PSLQ integer relation algorithm to generate several new formulas for pi, conforming to the following template: pi k equals n equals one infinity one n k a q n minus one plus B Q two N minus one plus C Q four N minus one Display style pi carrot k equals sum underscore n equals one carrot inf d frac one n carrot k left frac a q carrot n minus one plus frac b q carrot two n minus one plus frac c q carrot four n minus one right where q is e pi Gelfond's constant k is an odd number and a b c are certain rational numbers that Pluff computed. Topic Monte Carlo methods. Monte Carlo methods, which evaluate the results of multiple random trials, can be used to create approximations of pi. Buffon's needle is one such technique. If a needle of length is dropped n times on a surface on which parallel lines are drawn t units apart, and if x of those times it comes to rest crossing a line x greater than zero, then one may approximate pi based on the counts pi approximately equals two n x t. Display style pi approx frac 2 n l x t. Another Monte Carlo method for computing pi is to draw a circle inscribed in a square and randomly place dots in the square. The ratio of dots inside the circle to the total number of dots will approximately equal pi 4. Another way to calculate pi using probability is to start with a random walk generated by a sequence of fair coin tosses, independent random variables x k such that x k element of minus 1 1 with equal probabilities. 
the associated random walk is w n equals k equals 1 n x k display style w underscore n equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret n x underscore k so that for each n w n is drawn from a shifted and scaled binomial distribution as n varies w n defines a discrete stochastic process then pi can be calculated by pi equals lim n infinity 2 n e w n 2 display style pi equals lim underscore n 2 int d frac 2 n e w underscore n caret 2 this monte carlo method is independent of any relation to circles and is a consequence of the central limit theorem discussed below these Monte Carlo methods for approximating pi are very slow compared to other methods, and do not provide any information on the exact number of digits that are obtained. Thus they are never used to approximate pi when speed or accuracy is desired. Topic. Spigot algorithms Two algorithms were discovered in 1995 that opened up new avenues of research into pi. They are called spigot algorithms because, like water dripping from a spigot, they produce single digits of pi that are not reused after they are calculated. This is in contrast to infinite series or iterative algorithms, which retain and use all intermediate digits until the final result is produced. Mathematicians Stan Wagen and Stanley Rubinowitz produced a simple spigot algorithm in 1995. Its speed is comparable to arctan algorithms, but not as fast as iterative algorithms. Another spigot algorithm, the BBP digit extraction algorithm, was discovered in 1995 by Simon Plouffe. Pi equals k equals zero infinity one sixteen k four eight k plus one minus two eight K plus four minus one eight K plus five minus one eight K plus six Display style pi equals sum underscore k equals zero carrot in d frac one sixteen carrot k left frac four eight k plus one frac two eight k plus four frac one eight k plus five frac one eight k plus six right. This formula, unlike others before it, can produce any individual hexadecimal digit of pi without calculating all the preceding digits. Individual binary digits may be extracted from individual hexadecimal digits, and octal digits can be extracted from one or two hexadecimal digits. Variations of the algorithm have been discovered, but no digit extraction algorithm has yet been found that rapidly produces decimal digits. An important application of digit extraction algorithms is to validate new claims of record pi computations. After a new record is claimed, the decimal result is converted to hexadecimal, and then a digit extraction algorithm is used to calculate several random hexadecimal digits near the end. If they match, this provides a measure of confidence that the entire computation is correct. Between 1998 and 2000, the Distributed Computing Project PERHEX used Bellard's formula, a modification of the BBP algorithm, to compute the quadrillionth 1015th bit of pi, which turned out to be zero. In September 2010, a Yahoo employee used the company's Hadoop application on 1,000 computers over a 23-day period to compute 256 bits of pi at the 2 quadrillionth 2 times 1,015th bit, which also happens to be zero. Topic. Role and characterizations in mathematics Because pi is closely related to the circle, it is found in many formulae from the fields of geometry and trigonometry, particularly those concerning circles, spheres, or ellipses. Other branches of science, such as statistics, physics, Fourier analysis, and number theory, also include pi in some of their important formulae. Topic. Geometry and trigonometry Pi appears in formulae for areas and volumes of geometrical shapes based on circles, such as ellipses, spheres, cones, and tori. 
Below are some of the more common formulae that involve π. The circumference of a circle with radius r is 2π r. The area of a circle with radius r is π r2. The volume of a sphere with radius r is 4 thirds π r3. The surface area of a sphere with radius r is 4π r2. The formulae above are special cases of the volume of the n dimensional ball and the surface area of its boundary, the n dimensional sphere, given below. Definite integrals that describe circumference, area, or volume of shapes generated by circles typically have values that involve π. For example, an integral that specifies half the area of a circle of radius 1 is given by minus 1 1 1 minus x 2 d x equals pi 2 display style in underscore minus 1 caret 1 sqrt 1 x caret 2 dx equals frac pi 2 in that integral the function square root 1 minus x2 represents the top half of a circle the square root is a consequence of the Pythagorean theorem, and the integral 1 minus 1 computes the area between that half of a circle and the x-axis. The trigonometric functions rely on angles, and mathematicians generally use radians as units of measurement. Pi plays an important role in angles measured in radians, which are defined so that a complete circle spans an angle of two pi radians. The angle measure of 180 degrees is equal to pi radians, and 1 degree equals pi, 180 radians. Common trigonometric functions have periods that are multiples of pi, for example, sine and cosine have period 2 pi, so for any angle θ and any integer k, sin θ equals sin θ plus 2 pi k and cos theta equals cos theta plus 2 pi k display style sin theta equals sin left theta plus 2 pi k right text and cos theta equals cos left theta plus 2 pi k right topic eigenvalues Many of the appearances of π in the formulas of mathematics and the sciences have to do with its close relationship with geometry. However, π also appears in many natural situations having apparently nothing to do with geometry. In many applications, it plays a distinguished role as an eigenvalue. For example, an idealized vibrating string can be modeled as the graph of a function f on the unit interval 0, 1, with fixed ends f 0. Topic F one zero. The modes of vibration of the string are solutions of the differential equation f x plus lambda f x. Topic zero. Here lambda is an associated eigenvalue, which is constrained by Sturm-Liouville theory to take on only certain specific values. It must be positive, since the second derivative is negative definite, so it is convenient to write lambda. New 2 where new greater than 0 is called the wave number. Then f x topic sin pi x satisfies the boundary conditions and the differential equation with new Pi, the value pi is, in fact, the least such value of the wave number, and is associated with the fundamental mode of vibration of the string. One way to obtain this is by estimating the energy. The energy satisfies an inequality, wording as inequality for functions, which states that if a function f, 0, 1, is given such that f, 0. Topic, f, 1. 0 and f and f are both square integrable, then the inequality holds pi 2 0 1 f x 2 d x 0 1 f x 2 d x Display style pi carrot two in underscore zero carrot one f x carrot two dx leq in underscore zero carrot one f x carrot two dx, and the case of equality holds precisely when f is a multiple of sin pi x. 
So π appears as an optimal constant in Wertinger's inequality, and from this it follows that it is the smallest such wavenumber, using the variational characterization of the eigenvalue. As a consequence, π is the smallest singular value of the derivative on the space of functions on 0, 1, vanishing at both endpoints, the Sobel of space h 0 1 0 1 display style h underscore 0 caret 1 0 1 topic inequalities the number pi serves appears in similar eigenvalue problems in higher dimensional analysis as mentioned above, it can be characterized via its role as the best constant in the isoparametric inequality. The area A enclosed by a plane Jordan curve of perimeter P satisfies the inequality for pi A P two display style for pi A p caret two, and equality is clearly achieved for the circle, since in that case a topic. Pi R two and P two Pi R ultimately as a consequence of the isoparametric inequality, Pi appears in the optimal constant for the critical Sobolev inequality in n dimensions, which thus characterizes the role of Pi in many physical phenomena as well, for example those of classical potential theory. In two dimensions, the critical Sobolev inequality is two Pi F two F one display style two pi f underscore two leq nabla f underscore one for f a smooth function with compact support in R two f display style nabla f is the gradient of f and f two display style f underscore two and f one display style nabla f underscore one refer respectively to the L2 and L1 norm. The Sobolev inequality is equivalent to the isoparametric inequality in any dimension, with the same best constants. Wertinger's inequality also generalizes to higher dimensional Poincaré inequalities that provide best constants for the Dirichlet energy of an n-dimensional membrane. Specifically, π is the greatest constant such that π g u 2 1 2 G U two one two display style pi leq frac left in underscore g nabla u carrot two right carrot one half left in underscore g u carrot two right carrot one half for all convex subsets g of R n a diameter one and square integrable functions u on g of mean zero. Just as Wertinger's inequality is the variational form of the Dirichlet eigenvalue problem in one dimension, the Poincaré inequality is the variational form of the Newman eigenvalue problem in any dimension. Topic: Fourier transform and Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The constant pi also appears as a critical spectral parameter in the Fourier transform. This is the integral transform, that takes a complex-valued integrable function f on the real line to the function defined as f caret g equals minus infinity infinity f x e minus 2 pi i x g d x display style hat f g equals in underscore inf d caret inf d f x e caret minus 2 pi i x g dx there are several different conventions for the fourier transform all of which involve a factor of pi that is placed somewhere the appearance of pi is essential in these formulas as there is no possibility to remove pi altogether from the fourier transform and its inverse transform the definition given above is the most canonical, however, because it describes the unique unitary operator on L2 that is also an algebra homomorphism of L1 to L infinity. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle also contains the number π. The uncertainty principle gives a sharp lower bound on the extent to which it is possible to localize a function both in space and in frequency, without conventions for the Fourier transform minus infinity infinity 
x two f x two d x minus infinity infinity she two f carrot she two d she one four pi minus infinity infinity f x two d x two Display style in underscore in D carrot in D x carrot two F x carrot two DX in underscore in D carrot in D she carrot two hat F she carrot two D she GAQ left frac one four pi in underscore in D carrot in D F x carrot two DX right carrot two. The physical consequence, about the uncertainty in simultaneous position and momentum observations of a quantum mechanical system, is discussed below. The appearance of π in the formulae of Fourier analysis is ultimately a consequence of the Stone von Neumann theorem, asserting the uniqueness of the Schrödinger representation of the Heisenberg group. <laughs> Gaussian integrals The fields of probability and statistics frequently use the normal distribution as a simple model for complex phenomena, for example, scientists generally assume that the observational error in most experiments follows a normal distribution. The Gaussian function, which is the probability density function of the normal distribution with mean mu and standard deviation σ, naturally contains π f x equals 1 σ 2 π E minus x minus mu two two sigma two display style f x equals one over sigma sqrt two pi e caret x mu caret two two sigma caret two. For this to be a probability density, the area under the graph of f needs to be equal to one. This follows from a change of variables in the Gaussian integral. Minus infinity infinity e minus u two d u equals pi display style in underscore inf t caret inf t e caret u caret two do equals sqrt pi, which says that the area under the basic bell curve in the figure is equal to the square root of pi. The central limit theorem explains the central role of normal distributions, and thus of π, in probability and statistics. This theorem is ultimately connected with the spectral characterization of π as the eigenvalue associated with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, and the fact that equality holds in the uncertainty principle only for the Gaussian function. Equivalently, π is the unique constant making the Gaussian normal distribution E π x2 equal to its own Fourier transform. Indeed, according to Howe, 1980, the whole business of establishing the fundamental theorems of Fourier analysis reduces to the Gaussian integral. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Projective geometry. Let V be the set of all twice differentiable real functions f r r display style f math b b r to math b b r that satisfy the ordinary differential equation. F x plus F x equals zero. Display style F x plus F x equals zero. Then V is a two-dimensional real vector space with two parameters corresponding to a pair of initial conditions for the differential equation. For any t element of R, display style t in math B B R. Let E T V R display style E underscore T V to Math B B R be the evaluation functional, which associates to each F element of V display style F in V the value E T F equals F T Display style e underscore t f equals f t. 
are the function f at the real point t. Then, for each t, the kernel of e t display style e underscore t is a one-dimensional linear subspace of e. Hence, t ker e t display style t maps to ker e underscore t defines a function from r p v display style math b b r to math b b p v from the real line to the real projective line. This function is periodic, and the quantity π can be characterized as the period of this map. Topic: Topology. The constant π appears in the Gauss-Bonnet formula, which relates the differential geometry of surfaces to their topology. Specifically, if a compact surface σ has Gauss curvature k, then σ k d a equals two pi chi sigma display style in underscore sigma k da equals two pi chi sigma, where chi sigma is the Euler characteristic, which is an integer. An example is the surface area of a sphere s of curvature one, so that its radius of curvature, which coincides with its radius, is also one. The Euler characteristic of a sphere can be computed from its homology groups and is found to be equal to two. Thus we have a s equals s 1 d a equals 2 pi 2 equals 4 pi Display style a s equals in underscore s 1 da equals 2 pi c dot 2 equals 4 pi reproducing the formula for the surface area of a sphere of radius 1. The constant appears in many other integral formulae in topology, in particular, those involving characteristic classes via the Chern-Weil homomorphism. Topic. Vector calculus Vector calculus is a branch of calculus that is concerned with the properties of vector fields, and has many physical applications such as to electricity and magnetism. The Newtonian potential for a point source Q situated at the origin of a three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system is V x equals minus k q x display style V math BF x equals frac k q math BF x which represents the potential energy of a unit mass or charge placed a distance x from the source and k is a dimensional constant the field denoted here by e which may be the newtonian gravitational field or the coulomb electric field is the negative gradient of the potential e equals minus v display style math bf e equals nabla v special cases include coulomb's law and newton's law of universal gravitation Gauss law states that the outward flux of the field through any smooth, simple, closed, orientable surface S containing the origin is equal to 4 pi k q 4 pi k q equals display style 4 pi k q equals S display style script style S e d a display style math bf e c dot d math bf a it is standard to absorb this factor of 4π into the constant k, but this argument shows why it must appear somewhere. Furthermore, 4π is the surface area of the unit sphere, but we have not assumed that S is the sphere. However, as a consequence of the divergence theorem, because the region away from the origin is vacuum source -free, it is only the homology class of the surface S in R3 0 that matters in computing the integral, so it can be replaced by any convenient surface in the same homology class, in particular, a sphere, where spherical coordinates can be used to calculate the integral. A consequence of the Gauss law is that the negative Laplacian of the potential V is equal to 4 pi kq times the Dirac delta function delta V x equals minus 4 pi k q delta x display style delta 5 math bf x equals minus 4 pi k q delta math bf x 
More general distributions of matter or charge are obtained from this by convolution, giving the Poisson equation. Delta V x equals minus four pi k rho x. Display style delta five math bf x equals minus four pi k rho math bf x, where rho is the distribution function. The constant pi also plays an analogous role in four-dimensional potentials associated with Einstein's equations, a fundamental formula which formed the basis of the general theory of relativity and describes the fundamental interaction of gravitation as a result of spacetime being curved by matter and energy. R mu nu minus one two R g mu nu plus lambda g mu nu equals a pi g c 4 t mu nu Display style r underscore mu nu frac one two r g underscore mu nu plus lambda g underscore mu nu equals frac eight pi g c carrot four t underscore mu nu, where r m n is the Ricci curvature tensor, r is the scalar curvature, g m n is the metric tensor, lambda is the cosmological constant, g is Newton's gravitational constant, c is the speed of light in vacuum, and t m n is the stress energy tensor. The left-hand side of Einstein's equation is a nonlinear analog of the Laplacian of the metric tensor, and reduces to that in the weak field limit, with the lambda g display style lambda g term playing the role of a Lagrange multiplier, and the right-hand side is the analog of the distribution function times 8 pi. Topic: Cauchy's integral formula. One of the key tools in complex analysis is contour integration of a function over a positively oriented, rectifiable, Jordan curve γ. A form of Cauchy's integral formula states that if a point Z0 is interior to γ, then γ d z z minus z0 equals 2 pi i. Display style point underscore gamma frac dz z z underscore zero equals two pi i. Although the curve gamma is not a circle and hence does not have any obvious connection to the constant pi, a standard proof of this result uses Morera's theorem, which implies that the integral is invariant under homotopy of the curve, so that it can be deformed to a circle and then integrated explicitly in polar coordinates. More generally, it is true that if a rectifiable closed curve gamma does not contain z0, then the above integral is 2 pi times the winding number of the curve. The general form of Cauchy's integral formula establishes the relationship between the values of a complex analytic function f z on the Jordan curve gamma and the value of f z at any interior point z0 of gamma gamma f z z minus z Zero d z equals two pi i f z zero display style point underscore gamma f z over z z underscore zero d z equals two pi f z underscore zero provided f z is analytic in the region enclosed by gamma and extends continuously to gamma. Cauchy's integral formula is a special case of the residue theorem, that if g z is a meromorphic function the region enclosed by gamma and is continuous in a neighborhood of gamma, then gamma g z d z equals 2 pi i res g a k Display style point underscore gamma g z d z equals two pi i sum operator name res g a underscore k, where the sum is of the residues at the poles of g z. Topic: The gamma function and Stirling's approximation. The factorial function n is the product of all of the positive integers through n. 
The gamma function extends the concept of factorial, normally defined only for non-negative integers, to all complex numbers, except the negative real integers. When the gamma function is evaluated at half integers, the result contains pi, for example, gamma 1 2 equals pi display style gamma 1 half equals sqrt pi and gamma 5 2 equals 3 pi 4 text style gamma 5 halves equals frac 3 sqrt pi 4 the gamma function is defined by its Weierstrass product development gamma z equals e minus gamma z z n equals 1 infinity e z n 1 plus z n Display style gamma z equals frac e carrot gamma z z prod underscore n equals one carrot inf d frac e carrot z n one plus z n, where gamma is the Euler Mascheroni constant. Evaluated at z. Topic one half and squared. The equation gamma one half two. Pi reduces to the Wallis product formula. The gamma function is also connected to the Riemann zeta function and identities for the functional determinant, in which the constant pi plays an important role. The gamma function is used to calculate the volume Vn R of the n-dimensional ball of radius R in Euclidean n-dimensional space, and the surface area Sn-1 R of its boundary, the n-1 dimensional sphere V n R equals pi n 2 gamma n 2 plus 1 r n display style v underscore n r equals frac pi caret n 2 gamma left frac n 2 plus 1 right r caret n s n minus 1 r equals n pi n 2 gamma n 2 plus 1 r n minus 1 Display style s underscore n one r equals frac n pi carrot n two gamma left frac n two plus one right r carrot n one. Further, it follows from the functional equation that two pi r equals s n plus one r v n r display style two pi r equals frac s underscore n plus one r v underscore n r. The gamma function can be used to create a simple approximation to the factorial function n for large n n two pi n n E N text style N sim sqrt two pi N left frac N E right carrot N, which is known as Stirling's approximation. Equivalently, pi equals lim N infinity E two N N two two N two n plus 1 display style pi equals lim underscore n 2 int d frac e caret 2 n n caret 2 2 n caret 2 n plus 1 as a geometrical application of Stirling's approximation let delta n denote the standard simplex in n dimensional euclidean space and n plus 1 delta n denote the simplex having all of its sides scaled up by a factor of n plus 1 then volume n plus 1 delta n equals n plus 1 n n e n 
plus one two pi n display style operator name volume n plus one delta underscore n equals frac n plus one carrot n n sim frac e carrot n plus one sqrt two pi n Earhart's volume conjecture is that this is the optimal upper bound on the volume of a convex body containing only one lattice point. Topic: Number theory and Riemann zeta function. The Riemann zeta function zeta s is used in many areas of mathematics. When evaluated at s equals two, it can be written as zeta two equals 1 1 2 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 2 plus display style zeta 2 equals frac 1 1 carrot 2 plus frac 1 2 carrot 2 plus frac 1 3 carrot 2 plus c dots Finding a simple solution for this infinite series was a famous problem in mathematics called the Basel problem. Leonhard Euler solved it in 1735 when he showed it was equal to pi 2 sixths. Euler's result leads to the number theory result that the probability of two random numbers being relatively prime, that is, having no shared factors, is equal to 6, pi 2. This probability is based on the observation that the probability that any number is divisible by a prime p is 1, p, for example, every seventh integer is divisible by 7, hence the probability that two numbers are both divisible by this prime is 1, p2, and the probability that at least one of them is not is 1 minus 1, p2. For distinct primes, these divisibility events are mutually independent, so the probability that two numbers are relatively prime is given by a product over all primes p infinity 1 minus 1 p 2 equals p infinity 1 1 minus p minus 2 minus 1 equals 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 2 plus equals 1 zeta 2 equals 6 pi 2 approximately equals 61 percent display style begin aligned prod underscore p carrot in t left 1 frac 1 p carrot 2 right and equals left prod underscore p carrot in t frac 1 1 p carrot minus 2 right carrot minus 1 4 pt and equals frac 1 1 plus frac 1 2 carrot 2 plus frac 1 3 carrot 2 plus c dots 4 pt and equals frac 1 zeta 2 equals frac 6 pi carrot 2 approx 61 percent end aligned this probability can be used in conjunction with a random number generator to approximate pi using a Monte Carlo approach, the solution to the Basel problem implies that the geometrically derived quantity pi is connected in a deep way to the distribution of prime numbers. This is a special case of Weyl's conjecture on Tamagawa numbers, which asserts the equality of similar such infinite products of arithmetic quantities, localized at each prime p, and a geometrical quantity, the reciprocal of the volume of a certain locally symmetric space. In the case of the Basel problem, it is the hyperbolic three manifold SL2, R, SL2, Z. The zeta function also satisfies Riemann's functional equation, which involves pi as well as the gamma function. Zeta S equals 2 S pi S minus 1 sin pi S 2 gamma 1 minus s zeta 1 minus s display style zeta s equals 2 caret s pi caret s 1 sin left frac pi s 2 right gamma 1 s zeta 1 s furthermore the derivative of the zeta function satisfies exp minus zeta 0 equals 2 pi display style exp zeta 0 equals sqrt 2 pi a consequence is that pi can be obtained from the functional determinant of the harmonic oscillator this functional determinant can be computed via a product expansion and is equivalent to the wallace product formula 
the calculation can be recast in quantum mechanics, specifically the variational approach to the spectrum of the hydrogen atom. Topic. Fourier series The constant pi also appears naturally in Fourier series of periodic functions. Periodic functions are functions on the group T equals R, Z are fractional parts of real numbers. The Fourier decomposition shows that a complex-valued function f on T can be written as an infinite linear superposition of unitary characters of T that is, continuous group homomorphisms from T to the circle group U of unit modulus complex numbers. It is a theorem that every character of T is one of the complex exponentials E N X equals E 2 pi I N X display style E underscore N X equals E carrot 2 pi I N X. There is a unique character on T, up to complex conjugation, that is a group isomorphism. Using the Haar measure on the circle group, the constant π is half the magnitude of the radon nicotum derivative of this character. The other characters have derivatives whose magnitudes are positive integral multiples of 2π. As a result, the constant π is the unique number such that the group T, equipped with its Haar measure, is Pontjagin dual to the lattice of integral multiples of 2π. This is a version of the one-dimensional Poisson summation formula. Topic. Modular forms and theta functions The constant pi is connected in a deep way with the theory of modular forms and theta functions. For example, the Chudnovsky algorithm involves in an essential way the j-invariant of an elliptic curve. Modular forms are holomorphic functions in the upper half-plane characterized by their transformation properties under the modular group S L 2 Z Display style mathrm sl underscore two math bb z or its various subgroups a lattice in the group s l two r display style mathrm sl underscore two math bb r. An example is the Jacobi theta function theta z tau equals n equals minus Infinity, infinity, e two pi i n z plus i pi n two tau. Display style theta z tau equals sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t e caret two pi i n z plus i pi n caret two tau which is a kind of modular form called a Jacobi form. This is sometimes written in terms of the gnome Q equals E pi I tau display style Q equals E caret pi I tau The constant pi is the unique constant making the Jacobi theta function an automorphic form, which means that it transforms in a specific way. Certain identities hold for all automorphic forms. An example is Theta Z plus Tau Tau equals E minus Pi I Tau minus two Pi I Z Theta Z Tau Display style theta z plus tau tau equals e caret pi i tau minus two pi is theta z tau, which implies that theta transforms as a representation under the discrete Heisenberg group. General modular forms and other theta functions also involve pi, once again because of the Stone von Neumann theorem. Topic: <laughs> Cauchy distribution and potential theory. The Cauchy distribution G X equals one Pi one X two plus one Display style G X equals frac one Pi C dot frac one X carrot two plus one is a probability density function. The total probability is equal to one, owing to the integral minus 
infinity infinity 1 x 2 plus 1 d x equals pi Display style int underscore int d carrot int t frac one x carrot two plus one dx equals pi. The Shannon entropy of the Cauchy distribution is equal to ln four pi, which also involves pi. The Cauchy distribution plays an important role in potential theory because it is the simplest Fersenberg measure, the classical Poisson kernel associated with a Brownian motion in a half plane. Conjugate harmonic functions and so also the Hilbert transform are associated with the asymptotics of the Poisson kernel. The Hilbert transform H is the integral transform given by the Cauchy principal value of the singular integral H F T equals 1 pi minus infinity infinity F X D X X minus T Display style hf t equals frac one pi int underscore int d carrot int d frac f x dx x t. The constant pi is the unique positive normalizing factor such that h defines a linear complex structure on the Hilbert space of square integrable real valued functions on the real line. The Hilbert transform, like the Fourier transform, can be characterized purely in terms of its transformation properties on the Hilbert space L2 R, up to a normalization factor. It is the unique bounded linear operator that commutes with positive dilations and anti-commutes with all reflections of the real line. The constant pi is the unique normalizing factor that makes this transformation unitary. Topic. Complex dynamics. An occurrence of pi in the Mandelbrot set fractal was discovered by David Boll in 1991. He examined the behavior of the Mandelbrot set near the neck at minus 0 0.75, 0. If points with coordinates minus 0 0.75, epsilon are considered, as epsilon tends to zero, the number of iterations until divergence for the point multiplied by epsilon converges to pi. The point 0 0.25, epsilon at the cusp of the large valley. On the right side of the Mandelbrot set behaves similarly, the number of iterations until divergence multiplied by the square root of epsilon tends to pi. Topic. Outside mathematics Topic. Describing physical phenomena Although not a physical constant, pi appears routinely in equations describing fundamental principles of the universe, often because of pi's relationship to the circle and to spherical coordinate systems. A simple formula from the field of classical mechanics gives the approximate period t of a simple pendulum of length l, swinging with a small amplitude g is the Earth's gravitational acceleration t approximately equals 2 pi l g display style t approx 2 pi sqrt frac l g one of the key formulae of quantum mechanics is heisenberg's uncertainty principle which shows that the uncertainty in the measurement of a particle's position delta x and momentum delta p cannot both be arbitrarily small at the same time where h is planck's constant delta x delta p h 4 pi Display style delta x delta p g e q frac h four pi. The fact that pi is approximately equal to three plays a role in the relatively long lifetime of orthopositronium. The inverse lifetime to lowest order in the fine structure constant alpha is one tau equals two pi two minus nine nine pi m alpha 6 display style frac 1 tau equals 2 frac pi caret 2 minus 9 9 pi m alpha caret 6 where m is the mass of the electron pi is present in some structural engineering formulae such as the buckling formula derived by euler which gives the maximum axial load f that a long slender column of length l modulus of elasticity e and area moment of inertia i can carry without buckling f equals Pi two E 
I L two display style F equals frac pi carrot two E I L carrot two. The field of fluid dynamics contains pi in Stokes' law, which approximates the frictional force F exerted on small, spherical objects of radius r, moving with velocity v in a fluid with dynamic viscosity eta. F equals six pi eta r v. Display style F equals six pi eta r v. In electromagnetics, the vacuum permeability constant mu zero appears in Maxwell's equations, which describe the properties of electric and magnetic fields and electromagnetic radiation. It is defined as exactly mu zero equals four pi times ten minus seven h per meter, approximately equals. 1.25663706142 times 10 minus 6 n a 2 display style mu underscore 0 equals 4 pi times 10 carat minus 7 text h per meter approx 1.25663706142 l dots times 10 carat minus 6 text n a carat 2 a relation for the speed of light in vacuum, C can be derived from Maxwell's equations in the medium of classical vacuum using a relationship between mu0 and the electric constant vacuum permittivity, epsilon0 in SI units. C equals 1 mu 0 epsilon 0 Display style c equals 1 over sqrt mu underscore 0 var epsilon underscore 0 under ideal conditions, uniform gentle slope on a homogeneously erodible substrate, the sinuosity of a meandering river approaches pi. The sinuosity is the ratio between the actual length and the straight line distance from source to mouth. Faster currents along the outside edges of a river's bends cause more erosion than along the inside edges, thus pushing the bends even farther out, and increasing the overall loopiness of the river. However, that loopiness eventually causes the river to double back on itself in places and short circuit creating an oxbow lake in the process. The balance between these two opposing factors leads to an average ratio of pi between the actual length and the direct distance between source and mouth. <laughs> Memorizing digits Pyphilology is the practice of memorizing large numbers of digits of pi, and world records are kept by the Guinness World Records. The record for memorizing digits of pi, certified by Guinness World Records, is 70,000 digits, recited in India by Raj Veermina in 9 hours and 27 minutes on 21 March 2015. In 2006, Akira Haraguchi, a retired Japanese engineer, claimed to have recited 100,000 decimal places, but the claim was not verified by Guinness World Records. One common technique is to memorize a story or poem in which the word lengths represent the digits of pi. The first word has three letters, the second word has one, the third has four, the fourth has one, the fifth has five, and so on. Such memorization aids are called mnemonics. An early example of a mnemonic for pi, originally devised by English scientist James Jeans, is how I want a drink, alcoholic of course, after the heavy lectures involving quantum mechanics." When a poem is used, it is sometimes referred to as a PM. Poems for memorizing pi have been composed in several languages in addition to English. Record-setting pi memorizers typically do not rely on poems, but instead use methods such as remembering number patterns and the method of loci. A few authors have used the digits of pi to establish a new form of constrained writing, where the word lengths are required to represent the digits of pi. The Kadaraic cadenza contains the first 3,835 digits of pi in this manner, and the full-length book Not Awake contains 10,000 words, each representing one digit of pi. In popular culture Perhaps because of the simplicity of its definition and its ubiquitous presence in formulae, pi has been represented in popular culture more than other mathematical constructs. In the 2008 Open University and BBC documentary co production, The Story of Maths, aired in October 2008 on BBC4, British mathematician Marcus du Sautoy shows a visualization of the, historically first exact, formula for calculating pi when visiting India and exploring its contributions to trigonometry. In the Palais de la Découverte, a science museum in Paris, there is a circular room known as the the Pi Room. 
On its wall are inscribed 707 digits of pi. The digits are large wooden characters attached to the dome-like ceiling. The digits were based on an 1853 calculation by English mathematician William Shanks, which included an error beginning at the 528th digit. The error was detected in 1946 and corrected in 1949. In Carl Sagan's novel Contact, it is suggested that the creator of the universe buried a message deep within the digits of Pi. The digits of Pi have also been incorporated into the lyrics of the song, Pi. From the album Ariel by Kate Bush, in the United States, Pi Day falls on 14 March written 3 fourteenths in the U.S. style, and is popular among students. Pi and its digital representation are often used by self-described math geeks for inside jokes among mathematically and technologically minded groups. Several college cheers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology include 3.14159. Pi Day in 2015 was particularly significant because the date and time March 14, 15 9 hours 26 minutes and 53 seconds reflected many more digits of pi. In parts of the world where dates are commonly noted in day per month per year format, July 22 represents Pi Approximation Day. As 22 7 equals 3.142857, during the 2011 auction for Nortel's portfolio of valuable technology patents, Google made a series of unusually specific bids based on mathematical and scientific constants, including Pi. In 1958 Albert Eagle proposed replacing Pi by Tau, tau where Tau equals Pi, 2, to simplify formulas. However, no other authors are known to use Tau in this way. Some people use a different value, tau equals 2 pi equals 6.28318. Arguing that tau, as the number of radians in one turn, or as the ratio of a circle's circumference to its radius rather than its diameter, is more natural than pi and simplifies many formulas. Celebrations of this number, because it approximately equals 6.28, by making the 28th of June, tau day, and eating twice the pi, have been reported in the media. However, this use of tau has not made its way into mainstream mathematics. In 1897, an amateur mathematician attempted to persuade the Indiana legislature to pass the Indiana Pi Bill, which described a method to square the circle and contain text that implied various incorrect values for pi, including 3.2. The bill is notorious as an attempt to establish a value of scientific constant by legislative fiat. The bill was passed by the Indiana House of Representatives, but rejected by the Senate, meaning it did not become a law. Equals. Topic in computer culture. Equals. In contemporary internet culture, individuals and organizations frequently pay homage to the number pi. For instance, the computer scientist Donald Nuth let the version numbers of his program Tex approach pi. The versions are three, three point one, three, fourteen, and so forth. 